Aloha, I'm Brooke and this is Jocelyn. And now we'll be covering Propositions 53 and 54. Let's get into it. Proposition 53 requires a vote of the people for state projects costing more than $2 billion. Proposition 54 requires legislators to wait three days before bills can be voted on and requires the legislature to record all meetings and post them online. Propositions 53 and 54 are all about democracy. Shouldn't we be able to vote before the state spends billions of dollars on God knows what? And who would possibly be against making politicians post meetings on the internet? I mean, get with the program, people. Tune in, get involved. Proposition 53 benefits one group, the lobbyists who put propositions on the ballot. We have 17 this year. If Proposition 53 passes, that could double. Every new bridge or drought relief project would require a statewide vote. And of course politicians should post public meetings on the internet. But that's the sheep's clothing of Proposition 54. The wolf is tobacco and oil companies. They sponsored this to force legislators to wait before passing consumer protections so they have time to run attack ads. Don't be fooled. Did you call me a fool? No! Yeah, well, it sounded like you did, and I pity the fool. Jocelyn, you are getting so weird about Mr. T. Mr. T's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and share this video, and check out our other videos as we review all 17 propositions between now and November 8th. Wherever you stand on these or other issues, it's important to vote. Here are some sites that can get you registered and better informed.